I'm Sterling Perrin with Heavy Reading, and we're talking today about Carrier SDN, which is the application of SDN into the carrier wide area network, a topic that's certainly heating up significantly over the past year, moving uh, well beyond the data center initial applications, moving into uh, carrier networks for data center interconnect and for other applications as well, and moving well beyond that initial scope and focus on open flow to a much more uh, broader, uh, I think, view of of a future focused on software programmability, uh, focused on uh, global network views, and focused very much on, on openness uh, of standards and uh, a view of multi-layer across domains and across different network elements, across layers. I'm happy to be joined today by Steve Vogelsang. He's CTO of the IP and Transport uh, Group within Alcatel-Lucent. And uh, let's talk a little bit about what Alcatel-Lucent is seeing uh, with the, your service provider conversations in terms of uh, maybe the challenges um, around carrier SDN that are coming up. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it, it's really interesting times for the service providers because what what's happening is their customers, the large enterprises, are increasingly moving to cloud infrastructure, um, and their applications and workloads are becoming very dynamic. And what that's doing is placing demands back on the network infrastructure to be able to respond to those dynamic applications and workloads running in cloud infrastructure and provide the transport and IP infrastructure necessary to meet those application demands. And in many cases, they're just not set up for it today. You know, they've got networks that they can provision services, but the agility and speed uh, is just not there. And so they're looking for solutions to that problem. And this is a big day for, for you and for Alcatel-Lucent. You are launching a new platform for Carrier SDN, the network services platform. Can you tell me a little bit about what that is and, and why that's important? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a new platform that we've just launched. Um, it's, really, uh, it's really an extension of what we've done with Nuage Networks, which uh, Nuage we, we launched a couple of years ago. Uh, and that was really targeted at the challenge within the data center itself that the enterprises are facing of automating the network to respond to these cloud applications. Uh, what we discovered then is, if we, as we extend that into the WAN, we need to actually control the underlying network infrastructure and make sure the capacity is there. And that, we found, is a, is a very different problem. There's some com commonalities. We want a policy-driven, dynamic environment. But with NSP, what we recognize is that we really need to tie together the network itself as well as the applications that run on top and the services if we want to get the end-to-end -end optimization and the dynamic provisioning capabilities that are necessary. So we built a, a new platform. It's complementary to what we've done with Nuage and really extends those capabilities across into the WAN uh, for our carrier customers. So extending just the way SDN has from the data center into the wide area and then a new platform to do it. Um, of course, there's lots of SDN controllers out there on the market. What, what makes uh, NSP unique in your view? Well, I, I think what we've done is we've taken a very comprehensive view of uh, what an SDN infrastructure needs to be. I wouldn't really just call it a controller. Um, we've been able to take a lot of existing technology um, that's tried and true. Um, our SROS uh, IP routing code base is a, a core element within the NSP. Um, our GMPLS control plane that we have for optical networks is a key element. Um, we actually leverage a lot of the service management aspects of our SAM platform and been able to bring that together in a new system uh, using modern software techniques that really ties those together. So what we get is a, a platform that has deep understanding of the network and the constraints that exist in the network, which is absolutely key if you want to optimize them, but is designed to enable rapid service deployment on that infrastructure, policy-driven, very simple service deployment. And because of all the technologies we built in here, we can tie those two layers together to ultimately optimize the network on an end-to-end -end basis. So not only do you get that service agility, but you get it in a highly efficient and optimal way through the network infrastructure. And NSP is not a vision, it's an actual product. I understand you've got uh, customers that you're working with already. Maybe just tell us a little bit about what, what some of these customers are actually doing with NSP in terms of applications. Yeah, one of the first applications is really a dynamic multi-layer service that includes IP over an optical infrastructure, um, being able to open that up to their customers to provision on an on-demand basis. So the customers can come in, ultimately through the NSP platform, uh, request bandwidth across both the IP and optical layers, and get that bandwidth delivered to them on an on end-to-end basis. So it, it's really tying together the, the metro optical aggregation network into the IP core and then back to the Metro op Optical Aggregation Network on the other end to create that end-to-end -end service through a single uh, you know, common infrastructure through the SDN controller, the NSP. Excellent, well, thank you. Thank you very much.